Symbolic functions are the species of weird SAT style questions that are totally designed to make you look at them and say, well, I haven't seen this symbol before in school, so I have no idea how to do this. And that's exactly what they want you to do. But really, this is no different from functions. If you think about functions, that symbol f of x is just a symbol that means some function. And then you just plug in the values of the inputs according to what the function says, right? So the symbol itself doesn't matter. It's the same idea here. Here, let's look at this example. A dollar sign B is defined as this. What is three dollar sign five equals? So you might look at this and say, what is dollar sign? I've never seen that before in math. And yeah, no, it's made up. But it's just a function, right? We have a function this time with two variables instead of one, but it's still the same thing. So again, it's about the input versus the output. So we're putting in as our input three dollar sign five. So three goes in for A. So wherever we see an A, we replace it with three. And B goes in for five. Wherever we see B, we replace it for five. So let's go ahead and write this out. So this is going to equal 3 plus 5 over 3 minus 5, which turns out to be 8 divided by negative 2, which is negative 4. And there you go. So relatively straightforward. Once you see, oh, it's just a function, just plug in the numbers in the inputs as you would with a regular function. But again, we could also look for the output. So if we have something like this, if a dollar sign 3 equals 3, what is a equal? Well, notice here we have some output. We know the output of this equals three, and we're looking for what this a equals. So I know that a dollar sign three would be, according to my formula, a plus three over a minus three. And I know this whole thing would equal three, because that's what it says, that's the output. So now I just go ahead and solve for a. So let's imagine that's over one, I'll cross multiply. I get a plus three equals three a minus nine. Do a little rearranging, I get 2a equals 12. So a is 6. And I can go ahead and check this, right? 6 plus 3 is 9. 6 minus 3 is 3. 9 divided by 3 is 3. So everything works out perfectly. So again, with symbolic functions, don't get thrown off by the weird symbol. Just follow the pattern and remember the difference between the input and the output.